How do you feel about the attack upon white people from the blacks? Blacks are robbing them, stealing and killing and raping them and breaking in their homes and killing and all. How do you feel about that? Where did that happen at, in South Africa? All over. Really? Yeah, it did happen in South Africa too, but are you, are you aware that that's happening in America? I have not heard about that. Really? No. They don't report that on the, the, the news that you watch? I don't watch the news like that. Oh. But I, I think if it's happening, what was the question? How do I feel about it? Yeah. I think that's fucked up. If they doing that, if Is black it people- Is racism? Would, no, I would think that would be uh, thievery. Because you said they breaking it in the house and stealing their money? They, that's not like thieves. They're taking their lives and they're killing them and raping them. And what is America doing to stop all this? Nothing right now because they're defunding the cops and they allow whites to be attacked by the blacks. And you think America would really allow this? They all allow it. No way. Do, do you know they defunded the police? I was wanting them to defund the police, but uh, I didn't think it happened because yeah. they still got a billion dollars this year in L.A. Oh, you don't think they defunded the police? Um, if they got a billion <laughs> this year, excuse me, I think it wasn't a billion. It was 800 and some thousand, I mean million, excuse me, 800 and some million this year. So how much did they take away? I don't know the number, but you're not aware that the police have been defunded, a lot of them quit, or laid off, or got fired? You're not aware of all that? Um, no. Oh. But I could tell you how I feel about the police. How do you feel about it? And there's a chapter in my book about it, too, as well. Um, I have, like I said, when someone does something to you, then you tend to dislike all that look like that, right? Most of the time. Yeah. Or some of the times, it's, it's select. You, judge them, you get mad about it. Well, um, there's, like I said, there's a chapter in my book about the police coming into our house when I was a little kid. So once you read it, you tell me how I should feel about the police. So do you, so you think that all police are bad because that happened? Um, I'm gonna tell you something else too. And this, this is something I don't even hardly tell people. One of my ex-husbands was a sheriff. And yeah, I think all police are bad. <laughs> yes, yes. Amazing. They are bad. All police? Some of them probably not, I don't know, because I don't know all of them. But they have the ability to be. What do you think about the insurrection that Black Lives Matter brought up on this country? I think it was necessary. Really? Yeah. And. What do you think about the fact that they tore down all the, st most of the statue of great men and the monuments of great men and put up a statue of an unemployed drug addict with a criminal record, George Floyd? And we're, and we're all punked. <laughs> 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 and we're all punked. What do you mean? If you, you got on makeup, you really white. What? <laughs> That wasn't what you said. So you, the question again is, what is it again? What, <laughs> what, what do you think about the notion that Black Lives Matter and other black took down most of the statues of great men who found and greeted the greatest country on this side of heaven and the monuments, and then they replaced it with an unemployed drug addict with a criminal record, George Floyd. What do you think of that? Um, I think it's absolutely great. Why? You know? I mean, because like one of these great men you're probably talking about is what, Christopher Columbus? Yeah, those guys. Yeah, he was a thief. It, it, it's nothing worse than a thief. What did he steal? He stole America. <laughs> he stole America. That's what he did. Well, he came here to a place that was occupied by Indians and other people of color and said, hey, I discovered this and I'm going to put my name right here and say I discovered it. I could actually come right here right now. I think I discovered this studio. I'm going to name it Safari Windsor, and that's even though you, you already own it, but I'm just going to take it. And you think that's what he did? I was pretty sure that's what and he did. And why are you sure of that? Because I've learned about it. But suppose you've learned lies. That would be amazing, and then if that's the case, if everybody is lying, then everything actually is a lie, and that I would have to go back and really just find out all the lies about everything. Absolutely. But I know one thing that's not a lie is that the police had his knee on George Floyd's neck for, what was it, eight minutes? Would you see the video? It wasn't even on the neck. Oh, it wasn't? Right. It was where? 
It was near the neck, but it wasn't on the neck. What do they call it? What part of the body is it I don't called? remember, but it wasn't well, the it, neck. If it wasn't the neck and it was close by it, and you don't have another name for the part of the body that the but the knee was actually on, I'm just going to call it the neck. Were you, <laughs> were you, are you happy that they, the blacks are making an unemployed drug at a hero? Well, I think heroes come in all different types of, um, frames. And I think that if people went back, and I know you're a religious man, and some people said Jesus was a bum, but that would be your hero, right? Will because you, he, so I are mean. You, are you okay with having George Floyd presented as a hero? Are you okay with having Jesus presented as Jesus? W what do you think about that question? He was an unemployed drug addict with a criminal record. And Jesus used to be drinking wine. No, I'm asking you about George Floyd. But I'm do just saying. Do you think that that is... If in religious terms and stuff, if you could worship a man who was drinking and made enough wine for everybody to get drunk, then, then why not? Because I think alcoholism is something else. And basically, you know, Jesus was drinking a lot of wine. And so what do you think about the George Floyd thing? They make him into a hero. I they think they put like, a statue of him. I think that heroes, like I said, come in all different type of ways. And just because... No, no, I'm just asking you about George Floyd. Are you okay with that? I'm okay with it. You, you, so if you walk by George Floyd's statue mm -hmm. with your little girl, Right, mm -hmm. you have a daughter. Mm -hmm. And she says, look, mommy, who is that black man? What did he do, you would say? He was George Floyd, and he was killed by an officer who put his knee on the part that's by his neck for eight minutes, which caused him not to be able to breathe, and he died. And we wow. went, yeah, I would tell her. Yeah, that's, that's amazing. Yeah, it's amazing. That's what I would say. Isn't that amazing? It's amazing, child. <laughs> <laughs> it's amazing. So... I want to know this, and then I got to move on to okay. some other stuff real fast here. What's wrong with the blacks? They have been begging and whining and for a long time now, especially mm -hmm. since the civil rights movement, not prior to that, but they did a little bit liberal blacks then. Uh, and so everything that the blacks have asked the white man for, they have gotten it. I remember when they wanted to affirmative action, they got that. Mm. And then they wanted to live in a white neighborhood, they got that. Mm. And then they wanted uh, reparations. They're getting that. When we getting it? Uh, it's happening right now. Believe me, it's happening. It's, it's happening. Some of the states. How are much ready. we getting? Well, I don't know yet. Okay. But let me know when you find that but part. But what do you? And then they even wanted the white woman, and the white man <laughs> said, "Okay, blacks, if it's gonna make you satisfy you, here's the white woman." <laughs> <laughs> They gave them all the white women? They gave them the white women. Gave said, okay, wait, 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 wait. What do you think about, where, what does it take to make the black star door for themselves and start begging and complaining? Uh, now, if, now, I'm just, I'm just trying to add this up because something ain't quite mathing. If they gave them all the white women, how come it's still white people? All when all the kids be pretty much brown? Yeah, they're coming that way. They're no, that way. there would be no more white people. So there would be no more white people because all the kids would be brown if all the white women was women. all of them. You said all of them. They didn't give all, but what they do you think about... They kept two for themselves or what? what My they question, though, is when would the blacks, what would it take for them to stop begging? When would they say, okay, white people, it's enough. We're now going <sighs> to do for ourselves and we're going to stop blaming and begging. Well, you know, that's a good question, Jesse. I think that, you know, this probably would have happened decades ago if, say, for instance, Tulsa hadn't been bombed, you know, when all the black entrepreneurs and businessmen and everything had created a nice amount of wealth for themselves and it hadn't been pillaged by a whole bunch of white people that came over there and took that back. You know, I think if, like, different things like uh, redlining didn't exist, then I think people probably wouldn't have to beg. But in order for someone to come and ask you for something, they must see that you have some sort of control over it. Because people don't ask people for things so that they don't have any control. whatever happened in Tulsa, it affected all black people? Oh, it did. It affected How a lot. How did what happened in Tulsa affect all black people? They didn't even know each other. How you know? You say the people in Tulsa knew you know? all black people in the United States. It, it set a precedent. It set a precedent for other uh, uh, cities. Because it wasn't just in Tulsa. It was other places as well. There's, uh, what, just this year, somebody had took, what, Manhattan Beach from the black people? From a black couple that had owned some property, just took the property, and they just got it back this year? Was that in Manhattan Beach? So are you saying that the blacks are never going to start begging? No. What I'm saying is... Black people would not 
ask and not that all, they didn't not feel all, that you had most. control or that things have been taken from them. There's so many different sharecroppers and property that has been taken from black people and stuff by people, government, whatever. So yeah, it's like basically nobody's begging. What they're saying is leave me alone, let me do my own thing. So they're gonna be doing this for a long time, you think? I think until racism is stopped, but you said racism don't exist. Right. 